and welcome to Dragon Age the Veil Guard, the game that should just be called Veil Guard. Uh, this is actually just like a gameplay reveal demo. We might not watch the full thing. It's 20 minutes long of just like one game. So we might not watch the, the whole thing. We might uh, stop at some point. But uh, it was included in one of the showcases. I don't know which one I've forgotten. It was, it was somewhere in there. Uh, it was included in one of the showcases, but they didn't show this part. So I figured we might as well add it on to the end of the showcase watch and make our way through it, you know? This is your first look at Dragon Age TM, the Veil Guard. The following footage was captured from software in development and takes place very early in the game. It has been edited for brevity and to avoid any this major spoilers. Funny people as you claim. She's the best damn detective I've ever met. If she says she's got a lead on Solus, I believe her. They mentioned Solus. I don't know. By the way, context. I haven't played Dragon Age since Origins. We'll hurry to get out of here. We don't want to look conspicuous. Just get out of here nice and casual. Find Nev Gallus and stop Solus. So I noticed that the character that you're playing as Rook. Custom appearance. Okay. So it's like a pre-made character, but you customize their appearance. Is that what I'm getting? Kind of like Baldur's Gate, where you pick the origin character, but rather than going with their appearance, you change it. Ritual is going to tear down the veil. The only thing separate. Just make a new one, farm. Fade and an endless number of demons. I have to talk him down. Halt! Wait! But I didn't do anything. Get down. Are they after us? Is it because of the bar? Word travels fast in Minrathus. We've got to help her. We don't have time to get arrested, especially. I heavily dislike playing with a custom character in Baldur's Gate 3. Obviously, no spoilers. We're still playing through it. It could change. But I very much dislike how the custom characters are treated in Baldur's Gate 3. It truly does not feel like we are part of the story. And uh, talking to Devi, who played as Lazel in their playthrough, it doesn't seem like playing as an origin character would change that much either. It seems as though... The they intended you to play as darker. And the whole world is going to look it feels as though in Baldur's Gate 3, um, and this is one of the issues that I have with the game and the reason why I don't think it's a 10 out of 10, like people keep saying it is. Uh, and I realize I'm talking over a Dragon Age game talking about Baldur's Gate 3, but you know everybody's going to be comparing the games. Um, it feels as though I'm a tour guide for whatever two companion characters we're, we're choosing. You know what I mean? It feels like, let's say I'm, I'm bringing Carlac along. Um, and I'm not just saying that because she's my favorite. But let's say we're bringing Carlac along, right? It feels as though my character, my, my custom character, is a tour guide for the companion character I'm bringing along. Does that make sense? Am I, am I like, am I... Haven't seen this many come through the fade in... Am I, uh, off base? What about you two? Are you okay? We're good. What was that? Do they show like Oh, it's like they show like the Is that the approval that you get? I guess it's just the vibe. Yeah, I think it's just the vibe. We're good. But we need to move. It's not like I was trying to figure out if it was like Renegade. Neither can we. Like from uh, uh Mass Effect. Right over there. You know? Where are you trying to portray? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was, I was just, I was trying to figure out if it was like a behavioral thing, like in Mass Effect. But it just seems like it's just it gives more of the vibe. did something to piss off a cult of murderous blood mages, but their timing stinks. The bar owner said the Venatori took Nev to Dumont Plaza. 
Can you get us there, Hardy? I didn't read it, Genesis, and you might want to find it for yourself. Um, better than I do. You could kill the art. I appreciate that. This is no there was a article going around that they're changing the way that you link your previous game progress in this game. They're changing the way that it works. I didn't read into it. That's as far as I know. Is that somehow your linking of the account thing is different in this game than it is in different games. Demons, here they come. So this is rogue gameplay. Did we get Bioware? I think we did. This is Bioware, so <laughs> it's still going. If you want to mark things off for this game, go for it. I know that it's controversial. I know that uh, people are going to miss like the tactics-based gameplay from uh, Inquisition. I prefer this. This looks like infinitely more fun to me. Don't like how much this is flipping around. Probably won't play a rogue, <laughs> but this looks very looks much better. Get to Dumont Plaza and find Nev. Patch yourselves up if you need it. I do want to play the Dragon Age games eventually on the channel. Uh, but it will have to wait until after Zelda. That is a series. Doesn't that destroy? I have been thinking about doing uh, Alan Wake and Alan Wake Two. That world existed before the veil, and he without waiting, but in the same beat. I want to play Max Payne. You know, I want to do the Max Paynes, and you know, I don't want to. Even if his ritual kills us all in the process. I want to miss out on that stuff. Arkham series? Unfortunately, as there will never be an Arkham game worth talking about ever again, I feel. Uh, I wouldn't say that that's a high priority for me, do you? Because it seems like uh, after Suicide Squad, I kind of doubt that they're going to be able to redeem themselves. I hope that I'm wrong. That seems like how it is. And on top of that, like, to be honest with you, To be honest with you, I think that the Arkham games died with Kevin Conroy. I think, because, like, the way that I look at the Arkham games, and I don't know if you view this the same way, I don't even know if you've seen it, the, uh, uh, in my brain, the Arkham games, the Batman Arkham games, are a continuation of the animated series. Uh, in my brain, the Batman and Joker that are in the Arkham games is the same Batman and Joker from the animated series. Um, and that's not just because Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill reprised their roles. It's also like the writing style and the way that that Batman and Joker behave. I feel as though that game is a continuation. To continue that without Kevin Conroy does not make sense to me. And I do not like it. So in turn, in my brain, when Kevin Conroy died, so did Batman. At least that Batman. Obviously, I'm okay with still watching, like, the Robert Pattinson Batmans and so on and so forth. Like, there are other Batmans that I will enjoy. But the Arkham Batman, the animated series Batman, is dead. If they want to continue that game in kind of a vibe of Gotham Knights, I know that game isn't very fond upon. But regardless, if they want to do like a Nightwing game that is in the Arkham verse, I would, first off, I would fucking love that. I would cream my jeans. But if they want to do a Nightwing game, I would love that. Uh, but Batman Arkham's dead. Eric, hiding. Not the worst timing. Nev. It's so good to I am paying attention, by the way. I know I'm talking over this, but I am paying attention. They thought the same thing. A lot of Venatori in the city have reason to hate me. Figured I'd play along. Find out who wanted to settle the score this time. Then the sky started raining demons. So I'm back on the job. Appreciate it. Rook, this is Nev Gallus, our local expert. She's gonna help us find Solus. Nev, meet Rook. Both of you have done some work for the Shadow Dragons. Isn't that a coincidence? Some old friends said if I was working in Tevinter, the Shadow Dragons are worth trusting. Well, I mean, 
very vague and brief spoilers for the Suicide Squad game. You get right to the point. The Suicide Squad in Suicide Squad is from Arkham, the Arkhamverse. But I did find that is the Arkham Knight characters. So like the Harley Quinn that is in that game is the same Harley that was in Arkham Knight Asylum, so on and so forth. Our Lady of Victory. But that's where your man is hiding. The game itself is multiverse. You are in a different multi you're in a different universe. This ritual is already drawing more. So like they kill Batman in that game inevitably, right? At some point that happens, I assume. That Batman didn't die. You know, the Batman in that alternate universe did, but the Batman from Arkham Knight didn't, you know? Let's go. You know what I mean? So, like, it kind of is a different universe. It's just Harley Quinn is the same one. The team discovers Solus' hideout in an alluvian gate, the portal he's used to escape the city of Min 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 Minrothus. Uh, I did not see that second line. They step through the gate. And I'll, I'll read the things that Genesis is saying. It'll come back. Trust me. Um, we're not in Mithrosus anymore. I know these trees. This is the Arthin Forest. No, it's not. And there's your ritual. The power involved. I've never seen anything like it. The tremors are getting worse. And we've got demons. An example in three, you can piss Varric off. So if you meet him in this as your Inquisitor, will they hate each other? I hope so. Don't let anyone talk you down from playing 2. I've heard mixed things about 2. I've heard bad things about Inquisition. If I were to guess Floof, I don't like... I know that I do not like the tactics gameplay of Inquisition. I've played about 4 hours or so. Um, I would probably end up feeling negative about Inquisition over the first 3 games. Uh, and enjoy Dragon Age Origins. I know that I would like Dragon Age Origins. I've already played it. The team battles their way deeper into the Arlithan Forest until they arrive at Solus' Ritual. I know that I would like Origins. I've played it. Um, I would probably like two. I'm not confident about three. We have to stop this demon quickly. Yeah, I mean, like, the only spoiler floof you already know, Solus is bad. Like, don't and don't anybody confirm or anything, but, like, if that is a, a twist that is revealed in Inquisition, it's already happened. You've already been spoiled for it. This game existing, you have been spoiled for it. The context surrounding that situation where he becomes bad or is revealed as bad or whatever the hell, now that's not spoiled for you. You don't know the context to any of that, but... Uh, regardless, that is still spoiled. Don't give any more context to what I just said. I, I see you saying that it's supposed to be Don't give any more context. I just... Very much like it, it's... It's... Stop giving more context. Um, regardless, it's him... The, the spoiler that you're learning from this game and just this even existing, Solus is bad. Damn thing probably sent Solus's ego. You know, in some way, Solus becomes or is bad. You've been spoiled. That's it. Just by literally a single trailer of announcement of this game. It's like it's already been spoiled, you know? This is cool. That's, a, I, that's kind of their way of doing the, um, the turn-based tactics stuff. Uh, in the same vibe as uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. That's cool. 
I still don't like this rogue gameplay very much. Drew caught in 4K in Discord general. I seen. I mean, I, I did it. I pointed out all the things. That's not algorithmic based. Algorithm The algorithm doesn't kick in until you press enter. It does show your search history, though. Uh, but it, it would turn up a different thing and it would have an accident. All right. So just saying. Not actually caught in 4K, but that would be funny if I was. Are you sure? Positive. You three just keep the demons off me while I talk to him. Varric, so But I promise you I did not look up women farts. Solus needs someone to sell him another option to help him justify changing his mind. Come on, Varric. No, there's a new pick? Oh. He was my friend, Rook. I gotta try to reach him. <laughs> you won't listen to me. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> he'll hear from Bianca. Rook, take care I can't believe people are shitting on this art style. I like it so much more. Hey, Chuckles. Hope I'm not interrupting. People are like, what is this, League of Legends? It looks so much better. I disagree wholeheartedly. I think that these characters look so much more... Oh my god, I'm gonna flip off. Look at this shit. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look right here. He turns, his chin doesn't clip, it moves the fabric texture. You see that? The fabric texture moves. See that? It moved with his head. Did you see that? That's insane. What the fuck? Look at it! That's so cool! Let's buy him some time. Instead of clipping or something, the texture moved! That's so cool! I hope Beric is getting through to Solus. We better talk fast. We can't hold these demons off forever. Anyways, as I was saying, people were like shitting on this art style being like, what is this, League of Legends, because of the way that the character designs look? I disagree so, so, uh, so wholeheartedly. I think that this art style, I think it's much more characterized and cartoony, but I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that honestly, that's a good thing. I think that this is not saying that Inquisition's art style was bad, but I think that this is much more characterized and good and stylized. I think that this is much better. As my opinion, clearly, and I didn't see the previous game. I didn't play the previous game. So, like, grain of salt. But, like, I think that this looks better. People are dying right now. You need to listen. Please. People are always dying. It is what they do. Then his hair isn't clipping that bad. Like it's still clipping, but it's not that bad. Do you want me to take the shot? Won't work. He's too powerful. What if we disrupt the ritual? How? See those statues? If we break the scaffolding holding that one up, the whole thing will come down on Solus. It's risky. And still keeping up the trend of having two black hairstyles in gaming, though. You notice that? You notice that? This is one of the two. I'll bring down the statue. It's either this or like the short locks. Stepping into all that raw magic is suicide. The storm could tear you apart. Anyone got a better idea? Hope there's other options. Fine, but you'll need backup. I'm with you. I'm a mage. I'll go. Either way, someone needs to stay back and deal with the demons. Yeah, so what I think is happening, Genesis, is that you pick one of the characters and then you customize their appearance. I think that's what's happening. So I think Rook has a default appearance, but they chose to make that their character and then customize it. So theoretically, I think you might be able to choose to play as Varric and then customize their appearance. 
I think. Maybe Varric is at, off limits, I don't know. But that's what it seems like is happening here, where you can pick a default companion that otherwise would be a companion, play as them, and change their appearance. No, I understand that, Genesis. I understand that that's how it worked with the other games. I'm saying that it might work different in this game. Why? Why tear down the veil? You are saying that as though that is a fact this video game has not released yet. Just because that is a fact in the previous games does not mean it's a fact in this game. You need to keep in mind that this game is not Dragon Age 4. Uh, they, they made that clear way early in development. This is a kind of a spin-off, but not really. The rules that applied in previous games do not need to apply in this. Not only because it's a different and new game, but also because it's not Dragon Age 4. It's more like Dragon Age 3.5. Twenty minutes. I feel like that flew by. Regardless, call it Veilguard. Remove the the. I hate the the. I will definitely not be playing as a rogue in that game. I do want to play it. I'm not gonna. I, I do want to play it. Uh, I I would like to play it. When does this release? Is it next year? It's fall 2024. We're not playing it off launch. I will. I would like to play this game eventually. Um, what the. F I would like to play this game eventually. Um, it's just uh. Where are my words? I would like to play this game eventually. I should not be called the Veil Guard. It should just be called Veil Guard. Uh, I think that looked good. I definitely will not be playing as a rogue. Uh, I will be playing as a different class because flipping around like that uh, does not look fun to me. But uh, it did look good. I'm 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 looking forward to getting around to it. But I would obviously like to play Dragon Age 1 through 3 first. Uh, as I don't want to go into this without knowing who Solus truly is, because I have no idea who this character is beyond Bald Elf. Beyond, a beyond Egg with Ears, I have no idea who this character is. Um, so I, I would like to play the previous games first, but it's going to have to wait until after Zelda. If you're watching the VOD, thanks for watching. I love you. Mwah!